As you've already seen, different metals have different reactivities. Here we have a piece of copper, a metal with low reactivity, zinc, a metal with intermediate reactivity, and magnesium, which compared to the other two metals shown, is quite reactive. When we place these metals into sulfuric acid, we can observe the reaction which takes place. In the case of magnesium, you can see that production of gas begins immediately in a vigorous reaction. If we take a look at the zinc, you can see that bubbles of gas have formed on the surface, but the reaction is quite slow. And in the case of copper, there's no evidence of any gas being formed. It doesn't react with sulfuric acid. In the next part of the video, we're going to look at the reaction between magnesium and sulfuric acid again, and this time we're going to consider how the volume of gas produced changes over a period of time. You can tell from the steepness of the graph that initial production of hydrogen gas is quite fast. However, as the reaction proceeds, you can see that the gradient of the line, or its steepness, becomes less. This is because as the reaction proceeds, there are fewer reactant particles in the solution, so collisions between them become less frequent, and the rate of reaction slows down. Eventually, the reaction will stop completely. Finally, we're going to consider how chemistry can influence builders and architects when they select materials. Limestone is commonly used in building and other items such as gravestones and statues. The problem is that over a period of time, it appears to degrade. You can see here that the carving, the writing that's on the gravestone, is no longer readable. An alternative material is sandstone and carvings on sandstone appear to be unaffected over a long period of time. So perhaps under certain conditions, sandstone is a better material for building with. So what's actually happening in the case of limestone? The chemical name for limestone is calcium carbonate, and it has a formula CaCO3. Now this is a material which reacts with acids such as sulfuric acid and below you can see a piece of limestone and a test tube of sulfuric acid and we'll take a look at the reaction. The material calcium sulfate is formed along with carbon dioxide gas which you can see bubbling out of the rock as it reacts. Water is the other product in this reaction and over a period of time the surface of the limestone effectively disappears as it reacts with acid and other materials are produced. In terms of particles, we can represent calcium carbonate and sulfuric acid as shown below. And as the reaction proceeds, carbon dioxide is lost and calcium sulfate and water are produced.